Hey guys, welcome back. Today, what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be comparing basically some packs. So, what we get with uh, what is probably about $90 Australian, which is this elite trainer, trainer box, versus what you can get for about the equivalent in singles what you can buy online that's readily available for about the same sort of price and sort of weigh up what's better. So let's um, let's crack into it. Okay, so these are our packs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So roughly around $10 a pack from this product. Um, you get a promo as well, uh, obviously. Um, these packs will be a little bit cheaper in like the US or other countries. However, what I paid in Australian dollars for the singles will also be a bit cheaper. So all in all, it'll average itself out um, in that respect. So let's see what we can get with the packs. See what sort of pools we have. And then let's compare if for a similar value, we do better with what we bought. So packs, I'm just gonna put to the side here. Let's do the packs first, and then we can have a little bit of a look at some of the singles that I've purchased, uh, um, and roughly how much each of those were. So, Numel, Maractus, Paldean Students, or Student, Ultra Ball, Primeape, there we go, we've got a Houndstone. So that's pretty cool, baby shiny. And then we have an Wink alone into Armor Rouge. So that pack we have a baby shiny. Let's see. I don't have many of the baby shinies at this point. Um, I also have the big shinies, but, you know, it's cool to pull some cards that I don't have. Also, have did you guys um, watch the latest Pokemon uh, Direct? What did you guys think about that? Did you see the new Legends game coming out? We got Gimme Ghoul Reverse into a Paldean student. This is the exact same card I got from my previous box. It is cool to have a full art trainer, um, but I would have preferred something I didn't didn't pull last video as well. Um, but you know, at least at least we're getting one. But yeah, what did you guys think about the um, new Legends game? I think it looks pretty interesting. I um, did like Legends Arceus. I feel like that was like, a really fun game. And I was pretty excited when I saw that there's a new Legends game coming out next year. Um, and it being in, in the XY region is pretty cool. And having the... Um, We've got a Rotom Heat, or Heat Rotom. And having um, Megas again is pretty cool. I feel like Megas were, was a pretty cool gimmick. I like, um, you know, having sort of slightly different variants of some of those cool popular Pokemon that everyone likes. So hopefully they bring in a few new Megas. Um... That would be pretty cool as well. They give some of the other Pokemon a bit of a chance to shine as well. But I'm pretty excited for that game. Oh, there we go. We have the Art Rare. Oh, sorry, not the Art Rare. We have the, yeah, alternate Art Rare. Penny. That's actually a really good one. 
Umbreon in the foreground here. That's cool. I'm I'm very happy with that. Very happy with that. That might um that might skew the value. I'm not sure how how much that card goes for. I'm gonna have to have a look. But um, we're not doing too bad from the packs at this point. See how we go. It all comes down to the luck. This is a really cool Gengar art. I like it. It really all comes down to luck, I guess, with um, packs. You could do well. But got an executor. I don't think I got this one last time. It's a pretty, um, like, really nice artwork. I like that. Whilst it's not going to be a valuable card, um, it's just, it's a cool card. I really like that penny artwork. So, the just having the Umbreon in the foreground, a little bit of Pokeball. Really, really nice looking card. We have a Varun, Mankey, another Gengar, Charmeleon, Oinkalone, there we've got Bishop, Baby Shiny, that's pretty cool, and then Executor, again, Reverse, and just a Raichu. We're not doing, we're not doing too bad. I'm not doing too bad. I am kind of trying to go through things pretty quick for you guys. Obviously, I'm not going to go through all of the everything that's in the um, Elite Trainer Box. I did go through that last time. Um, so if you do want to see everything that's, that's in there, definitely um, have a look at my last video as well. This is more just for the packs at this point. Again, different different products will have different value points on the packs. Um, saying that, I think in Australia, it's probably around this sort of point. $10 roughly a pack. Zatu. So, nothing in that pack. Bishop's cool. I do like Bishop. I like... um. I like any Pokemon that is blue. That the shiny is blue. So it's cool, but obviously there's some more interesting shinies, but it looks cool. I'm happy with it. I'll be happy if we can get one more big pull. Got a Nimona. We have Mouse Hold, Ultra Ball, we have a Reverse Raichu, Reverse Lapras into a, just a Magmortar again. So we have one pack left. One pack, Pikachu pack. Can we get anything? Let's see. Okay. Dedene. Noibat. Mousehold. Lantern. Primeape. We have Pineco. Reverse. We have a Pormy. I did get that last time. Art Rare. Into a... Uh, just into an Executor. Hello. So we didn't do it didn't do too bad. We got one art rare. We got two babies. We did get the um the art rare or the alternate art I guess penny, which is really cool. Paldean student, which we did get last time, unfortunately, the same one. Um, and a Houndstone. So, not too bad. They're the pulls that we got. So now let's 
let's do a bit of a comparison. I will sleeve all these cards up in a moment. Let's have a look at a comparison. So, these are some singles I picked up. Yes, they're Japanese, uh, because English singles weren't available when I was picking these up. Um, similar price point, give or take, depending, you know, prices will fluctuate. But anyway, so the Charizard. In English, obviously, uh, this is a promo. However, in Japanese, you pull it from the pack. So, a bit rarer in Japanese, um, but this card... Probably about $22. So, probably about two packs worth. Two and a bit packs. This one here. So, this one is one of the secret rares. Oh, sorry, ultra rares. So, this one was fairly cheap, actually. I believe this one was about 11 or $12. So, just more than, a little bit more than a pack. This one here. So, one of the starters. Shiny. This was only about $8.50. Next, we have Noivern, probably one of the cooler shinies. Being the nice, well, green and red. This one uh, cost me a little bit more than than the other one. This one was about eleven dollars. Next, we have the other starter. This one was actually only about five dollars fifty Australian, so pretty decent price for that one. I think I have. Oh, I, I do have another card in the back. I was wondering why it was so thick. This one, um, again, one of the promos in English. Um, again, in Japanese, you pull it from the pack. Uh, Great Tusks. This one was only, I believe, about... I think it was about $8. So a little bit more than... Um, I forget this dude's name. Quack. Quackerville or something. Um, but... Yeah, still pretty cheap. We have the Nimona Trainer. This one was about nine bucks. So, pretty cool trainer. This one here. This is, again, in English, it is a promo. Um, same as the Charizard and the Great Tusks. We've got Iron Treads. This one cost me, again, probably about... I'd say $8 or so. Next one, this is going to be one of the bigger ones um, of the normal shinies. So this one, Pik uh, not Pikachu, <laughs> what am I saying? Um, this is obviously the, um, the Mew. So this one was about $19. Next... We have the Alakazam. That's about $10 as well it cost me. Little bit cheaper for the Clodsire. Uh, I think this one was probably about $8.50. And then uh, the Toad Scroll. He was probably about the same, about $8.50. So if you want to add it up, let's say you, you get the two biggest ones here. This is probably about what $42. And then you can just go 50, 60, 7, oh yeah, 70, 80, 90 roughly. So, for about the same price, you could really get all of these. Or you can make up different combinations. So, long and short of it, all in all, in my opinion, um, it's definitely cheaper just to buy singles. Uh, you can get some pretty cool cards. 
this one I really love the I want to get all of all of these ultra rares when I um, get the opportunity to I will try and pick them up I uh, just like the way they shine but all in all yeah my opinion is definitely singles are, are the better way to go as far as trying to get what you want for an affordable price however obviously opening up packs is is fun to do so thanks again everyone for tuning in i hope you enjoyed and um yeah don't forget to like subscribe leave some comments down below and enjoy the rest of your day thanks guys